everybody. Welcome back to the podcast, My View on the View, where I make the views table relatable. I take the table dynamics and I relate those to our everyday lives. Come on in, guys. Let's chat for a little bit. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Well, guys, welcome back. Shout out to everyone. Guys, I wanted to talk to you guys about something. I wanted to find out if you guys are feeling the same way I'm feeling, you know. And this is really not for those who are casual viewers of ABC's The View, but I really am talking to all my OGs, just like me, people who've watched the show uh, for years, on and off since its inception. I know some of you have even told me over the years, you haven't missed any shows for 25 years. And um, so this is what I want to talk about. Friday's show, which was February 4th, 2022, was so good. And it was so fun. That was the thing, guys. It was a fun show. They laughed and laughed and laughed so much. Uh, Of course, Joy was running the table because we know Whoopi's out temporarily. We had Sarah. We had Anna. We had Star. Star was dressed in that beautiful red suit. I mean, like that, that and the shoes that was all me. I'm like, that is my kind of outfit. And it was just a wonderful show. Um, and I wanted to play a small clip for those of you who missed Friday's show, or for those of you maybe who are listening in and maybe you aren't an OG viewer. And I just want you to listen to how much fun the women were having. And then I'm going to come back and we're going to continue talking. And so I've been really working hard. And you know, I've kept the weight off. Yes, you have. I have. Well, that's one of us. Uh-huh. Well, no, sis, what I'm telling you is small it's incremental important. changes. Small yeah. incremental Sustainable changes. God changes. knows yeah. I had a whole heck of a hard time. But all small incremental changes. Know your numbers. Know your cholesterol numbers. Know your blood sugar. Know uh, your BMI. Understand that stuff. And if you can do that, eat less, move more, and don't smoke. That'd be good. Yeah. That'd be real good. I'm I'm starting yeah. to feel at this point in my life the, the uh, ramifications of not exercising enough. Mm. I can feel it now. Yeah. So I have to, like, get a trainer now. I play tennis. Now you're going to get a trainer? I play tennis. Yeah. yeah well, that's it's good. never too late. So why, why you mean now? Like I'm half in the grave? What? <laughs> <laughs> no, you have to Do I look like, like I'm really, half in the grave? I you're don't stunning. Think so. Wait, you know, you really are stunning. Been, like, the other day we were walking We should have like a pickleball the view tournament. No joke. Right. Joy goes like this on the back stairway. She goes, oh, my leg is tight. It goes like this. And I was like, you are my father's age. And she literally bends like a little pre- So I don't believe that. Well, the other day she lifted her leg up on the on the table. That's what I mean. Does like, that stuff all the time? That's nothing. Girl, be no. careful. No, that's nothing. You're on the quay now. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. That's nothing. She can do it. Thank she can you. do it. All right, let's that do was it. an excuse to show my red shoes. No, no, no. no. But yeah, Brian is pointing at me like, uh, no, there's, there's, a, you don't pay me enough. She honey. has a dress on. She can't do it. Yeah, I mean, it'd be Talk like about going. You would get. Oh, no, Brian wait, just did. A yeah, Brian just did like a real cat kick. You would get You're an FCC that. violation, and if I if I lifted my leg. <laughs> Yeah. (laughs) Y'all, while I was recording that to put in the podcast, you heard me laughing. I busted out laughing the day uh, of Friday when I was watching the show. And of course, listening to it, watching it again was funny. If you saw the show, you know that Joy put her leg up on the table again. Uh, You know that Star picked her leg up and she crossed it, you know, and it was like, dang. And um, if you saw the show, Brian, the executive producer, who I just love so much, uh, he kicked his leg up in the air. They put the camera on him. And then, of course, we heard um, <laughs> Anna saying there, they don't pay her enough for her to put her leg up, right? So what I wanted to talk to you guys about and what I wanted to find out about is, do you feel this way? The way I feel, Friday was such deja vu for me about how fun the show used to be. Do y'all remember that? And I thought, gosh, you know, Friday just reminded me how much I missed the fun shows because it wasn't just like every few, every blue moon, it was funny. Like most of the show was funny because they did focus so much on politics. And, you know, we got all this stuff going on with Whoopi, which we know is affecting them. We know it's affecting us. Um, We've been talking about it here, keeping, I've been keeping you guys abreast of the major updates. You know, there are little things happening constantly, but just the major ones for those of you like me who are following the story. And so that's put a dark cloud over everything and made everyone feel a little bit heavy. 
And we, we could tell that with the women. But Friday, it seemed like everyone was just ready for the weekend. And they were just kind of letting it rip and just having a lot of fun. And I really miss that. You know, I don't know about you guys, but I listened to the Behind the Table podcast series that the show did for this year for the season 25 celebration. There were 10 of them. And the first one was with Joy and Meredith. And I actually went back and was trying to pull that clip for you guys too. But that whole podcast was like 45 minutes and I couldn't remember where it was. And so I was like trying to find it and I was wasting a lot of time and I was like, okay, I need to get this done. So I'll have to just tell them and leave that part out, you know, leave the clip out. But I remember Joy saying to Meredith that even she missed the show being fun. And uh, because when Meredith was there, you know, it was, it was fun. So do any of you guys feel this way too? Any of you OG viewers feel the way I do? You know, I love when they laugh. I love when they have fun. Um, you know, Joy is always uh, 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 fun. And uh, even when Whoopi was there, Whoopi, you know, just them hearing them all kind of vibe together on things we go through as women. Um, you know, <laughs> like we, you know, talk about, you know, gray hairs and suspicious places, you know, and, uh, you know, you know, breast sagging as we get older and, you know, all these things. And so anyway, I don't know. I just wanted to check in with y'all and see how y'all were liking Friday's show. You know what else I was thinking about too, when I was watching Friday's show, y'all is that it seemed to me that the show goes smoother when they're, when, when the topics are lighthearted, you know what I mean? Like there aren't any arguments because there's nothing to argue about. You know, there's not any, you know, heavy, heavy, really passionate debates because there's really nothing to debate about. And I, I started thinking Friday, I really, you know, I know we're about to get to midterms and then we're going to have a whole new presidential election, you know, <laughs> shortly coming. And, you know, because 2022 will be over before we know it. Y'all know time is flying by. And so it's like, I know they're going to stay politics heavy on the show because it seems like that's just what's trending now. Uh, everybody's watching uh, our congressmen and women and watching what's happening. And <laughs> But I, I thought, you know what? I really wish they would do a lot, a whole, way more lighthearted pop culture topics than they do. Like, you know how they have a day of all hot topics? Uh, excuse me, but like they have the political view. I want them to have the pop culture view, you know, like a day where they just, just discuss nothing but pop culture, lighthearted uh, things, and maybe bring in to guest co-host Sherry Shepard, who's doing great right now. She's on fire. She's been sitting in for Wendy Williams or bring in Jenny McCarthy. You know, wait, as I say that, they're not going to bring Jenny back. Jenny has I think Jenny has done so much negative press about the show throughout the years that she's ruined her chances of ever coming back on there. But, you know, they've got Sherry and who else, guys? Uh, Michelle Collins could come back and she's good for pop culture. And, you know, I don't know. I don't know. So that's all I wanted. I just wanted to chat with y'all and see what you guys thought about this. Um, I don't know. I know a lot of people really have left the show because they feel like it's just too political. It's just too serious is what people say. At least what people have said to me. Um, they just feel like it's just way too serious. I don't know. I don't know. I like the seriousness to a degree because I personally love politics. But I do know that the whole world is just, it just seems like there's always so, so much negativity. You know, the pandemic, the, the you know, lockdowns, the deaths, you know, all of that. It would just be great if the show could have a few days out of the week where they just focus on things that make us all laugh and, and all of that. So I don't know, guys, let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section. If you want to, I really appreciate it. I just want to know where you guys are with this as well. So thanks so much for tuning in. This is my view on the view, a podcast all about APCs, the view. I'll talk to you on the next one. Here we go, here we go again. Trying hard, but you want to be my friend.